Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Azure Resource Manager Templates, also known as ARM Templates. And this helps you uh, deliver infrastructure as code, meaning that when you have a resource such as a virtual machine or a storage account, instead of manually configuring it every single time through um, uh, the portal, what you can do is provide a configuration file that defines all the properties that you want it to be configured with. And the idea is that you can uh, keep this file and share with other uh, other people so they can easily uh, create the same resources as you. And then you know exactly how your stuff is, is configured. So what we're going to do is uh, launch a new template. Now, you can't go up here and just type in ARM because these ARM templates are managed uh, at different levels. So at one level is the script subscription or the resource groups. So when you have a resource group, you have deployments within them and that's where uh, these templates are deployed. Uh, but just to deploy one from here, what we're gonna do is type in deploy. Why they didn't make it so you can type in ARM, I do not know. But if you go down here, we have deploy a custom template. And so from here, we have some common templates. So if I click into web app and I go edit a template, we already have some stuff pre-filled in. I'm just gonna go back and discard that, go back to select a template, and we're gonna build our own. And by default, we'll have that schema, that content version, which is 1.0.0.0, our parameters and our resources. So today I wanna launch a virtual machine. And uh, what you normally would have to do is go here uh, and look up what is that you wanna create. So if it's this, uh, Microsoft Compute Virtual Machine, you'd go through here and you'd have to make sure you have all these uh, properties. So you define the resource here, right, the type, um, and then you define the properties that you want. And down below, you can go through here and see them all. That's a lot of work. I don't want to do that. So I'll go to add resource here, drop this down and click. Uh, where is it? Virtual machine. Where are you? There you are. And I'm going to call this one Wharf. And then Wharf and Wharf because it's not just going to create a virtual machine. It's going to create the other things uh, that I need with it as well, such as the storage account, the network interface, and the virtual network. So you can see that we have a bunch of parameters here. So the name, the type, the name, the admin username, the password, and the OS version. Oh, and you know what? I think I chose a Windows one. I do not want a Windows one. I want a Linux one because that is easier for me to work with here. So we choose Ubuntu. So I'll just fill this in again. All right. And so um, back up here, you know, we have the Ubuntu version between some versions here. And then there's the type, so that's for uh, replication. Then we have variables here. So if we go to VM size, this is the VM it will, it will set here. Uh, variables are either you can have string values or you can use functions to transform other parameters into other stuff that you'll reference throughout your template. Then down below, we have those resources here. So what we'll do is um, actually I'm going to copy this because it's, it's very highly likely we're going to want to make some kind of change. And so I have VS Code over here on the on the left or right hand side. I'm just going to paste that on in there. Um, and what we will do, this is a JSON file, make things a little bit easier here. Great. And what I'll do is just move that off screen and we'll go ahead and we will save this and we'll see if we can deploy this. So I'm going to type in ORF here and we'll launch in Canada East. I'll name this Wharf. We will uh, name the username Wharf, but lowercase. And then we'll do testing one, two, three, four, five, six, capital on the T. Notice that it is uh, hidden there. And then we will choose 14, which is defaulted here and LRS. We'll go ahead and do review and create. And we'll hit create here. So this is gonna fail, I already know, because it has a misconfiguration, it'll tell us how. But while that's going, we'll take a look at our inputs. So this is the values that were inputted. These are the outputs, if we had defined any, which we have not. Um, and if we go back to our template, I just wanted to show you that we have that secure string. So when we were typing our password, that's why we didn't see it. Um, so just things like that. So I'll go back up here and our deploy failed. Why? What happened? <laughs> So we open it up here, the requested VM size, standard D1, is not available in the current region. So the template we have is not that great. Um, it, it needs some uh, configuration because we can't use D1. I think that doesn't exist anymore. And so what we really want to use is the standard B1LS, all right? Standard B1LS. So I'm going to cut that. And for the time being, I'm going to go back to our original template. And this is one big template. I'm gonna look for those variables. Oh, they're all the way at the bottom here, nice. And so I'm gonna just go ahead and paste that in. 
B1LS, just double check, making sure I spelled that right. Standard, uh, standard B1LS, looks good to me. So I'm gonna move that off screen. And the question is, what do we do? What do we do when a deploy fails? So let's go take a look at what has happened here. So this all got deployed into a resource group and under here, this is where our deployments are. So when we look at this template, it, we can see that it failed. We can click into here, get the same information. Um, and if we click into here, it just brings us back to where we just were. But if we go look at what was actually deployed uh, under our resource group, under the overview, we'll notice that it created the virtual network, the storage account and the network interface. So when it fails, it creates what it can, but it doesn't roll back, okay? So the question is, is then how do you do cleanup? So you might think I'll go to deployments and what I'll do is go ahead and delete that template and we can go ahead and do that, which by the way, you can't edit this template. All you can do is, um, all we can do here, see, I just wanna show you that you cannot edit it. But we can download it and stuff like that. But uh, so you might think, well, if I go ahead and delete that template, just making sure we're in the right place here, you might think that might roll back those resources, but it doesn't, it just deletes the template. <laughs> so if you really wanna get rid of the stuff, what you gotta do is go ahead and delete all these resources manually. So, um, I wish it kind of had a rollback feature, but that's just how it is. But there are some nice things that uh, Azure does here, which we'll talk about in a moment. So I think we have adjusted it to the correct value now. So hopefully this is going to be all we need to make it work. So what we'll do is go to our deployments here uh, and we can't do it here, but so we'll go back to the top here and type in deploy and we'll go to custom template. And what we'll do is build our own template in our editor and I'm just going to copy the contents here. Okay, and we'll go copy and I will go oh, paste and we'll make sure that this is all good. Looks fine to me. We'll go ahead and hit save and we will choose Wharf so we don't have to make a new one and we will fill in uh, the name as Wharf. The username is Wharf. I'll call Wharf too, just in case. Helps us keep track of what we're doing here. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six with a capital on the T. 14 L uh, RLS, LRS. And we'll go ahead. Oh, we have one issue here. Cannot deploy resource group wharf deleting. Um, we'll go back. And we will hit create here. I don't think I deleted the resource group. Let me just go double check. I almost, I'm almost certain I deleted all the contents of it, right? Oh, so there's already one here. So we're just waiting for that to delete. Just gonna go delete for us, please. Thank you. It failed to delete. We'll go take a look as to why. Resources not found. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll go back to our resource groups. Let's give this a refresh here. Okay, so you know what? I must have deleted the resource group, which is totally fine. I, I could have swore I only deleted the contents of it, but we'll just call this wharf regular then. We'll go ahead and hit uh, create here. And so this time, I have a better feeling about this. And so we'll just have to wait a little bit. It won't take too long. I'll see you back in a moment. Okay, so after waiting a little bit here, our, uh, our thing seems to be deployed. So if we go to resource groups, we can see that our virtual machine is deployed. So uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. One other thing I'd like to show you is that whatever you have, whatever is in your resource group, you can actually export the template. So uh, if you did configure something manually, all you'd have to do is find the resource go up here to, whoop, um, it is export template, and there's your template. So it just has that single resource in there. I can't remember if if I go into here, if I select multiples, um, and I go, exp or where is it? Export template. 
look, it's going to include, include all that stuff. So if you already have existing resources that you provisioned and you want to have them, that's what you can do. Notice that some things won't be included in the template when you do that, but you can just go ahead and download them and then you have them for later. So yeah, that's all there really is to um, ARM other than learning the, uh, the nitty gritties of the actual language. That's just how you work with it there. So what I'm gonna do is make my way over to my resource group here and I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this here. And we're all good to go.